Okay, I will show you some demo practices. First. So for that, I use Atom Editor to show the code. Plus, I use SPG Simple Build to uh, build the Sky applications. So first of all, you have to install SPT and write the SPT configuration file. So how that SPT configuration file look like? Here I have to tell name, name of that my application, version number, and Scala version I need, and ARC version I need, and the dependent libraries. I, I am depending on type safe ARC and ARC actors. So I'm going to implement so after write this configuration file, you save it in the directory somewhere. So I'll show you. So I'm under the directory here. So this is my SPT file. So then I write it my Scala code for the program. So it's my simple actor program. So like, yeah, I have to import first three package, actor, actor system, and props. Actor is the class I extend to create actors. Actor system is the system package which creates total actor systems. And props are the configuration of actors. So first of all, I create a class, see, called hello Akka, extending actor, and use or write the method receive. In there, what I say, if it receive a message, I say print a message. So this actors will receive message from other actors for the main program. So this is my main object, main program, create object, main object, extending that package. And then I create an act system. You can use any name here, hello system, whatever, and get a valid system. And then with the system, we call, what's this? We call actor of using props, in the props, I have to give this class name. Hello, if my app class is hello, account, should be hello. And I can give any name to that. This should be a unique name. Right. So, after creating that and putting this SPT file in the same directory, and then say my this file I named as hello scala. You should also put it in the same directory. So then I need to execute the command spt run. So spt run will compile this source and import all depending libraries and then execute it. Print the results on the terminal. So let's see, it's compiling now. So it's running in the main method. You see it tells hello, because I create an actor called actor and tell hello to this actor. So this message will receive by this receiving and it points this. So similarly I can tell actor one, I tell maybe a person. Yeah. Save it. And I terminate that control C run that man. Using SPTR. Let's 
compiling. Running now. So you see it say hello. So this is my first message. And it say hello class with my second message. So maybe I can do some uh, pattern matching here. So for example, I can say case person and then say print. And then I say case instead of message, I can say case hello. Then I say here. After that. I can say case anything. Right. Something like that. So then I can pass hello this and then I maybe pass hustle to this. So maybe I can I can pass let's see, let's see to this. Right? Let's save that and run. So it's compiling now. See, first I pass hello, it reach, reach, reach hello here, and it print how are you. So then I pass person, it reach person here. So then it say hello person, and then it back match. So I can create any number of actors of this. So for example, I can create maybe. Call uh, actor two. You saying hello, Akapos. So this call hello. This call Akapos. Two names to you. The one and act two. So from the act one, I say hello. Act the two, I say cousin. Act the one, I again say yes, yes. Right? So I say friend Helen. So I want to print uh, from which from which message I receive this.
So, RP, the system, I create a first actor and name it as Halo, and create a second actor, name it as Akka, and then I send the first actor Halo, second actor consume, and first actor useless. And then I change my print and statement to print. The name of this act self refers to the same act in all places with the message and task his name, right, and I don't need this, right, I save that, and the rest will be run. So it's compiling. As you see, As you see, I send the actor one hello. So when it actor one is the name hello. So you see when I get hello, it say, how are you? So how are you from actor hello? So then I say cousin to actor two. So they hello cousin from Akka, hello user Akka. So this is actor two is Akka. So the last one is from hello. So you see these two different actors running parallel. So they get those printouts in parallel. So that's how simple actor tells works. Now, uh, let's see another example. I want to kind of show you us. So for that, I create this application. So this is hello. This is ask. Ask. In order to demonstrate that ask method, I'm at this directory. So I have a program called message server scar. So that is the program. Right. So what I do here, I create a case class which take operation and two integer values and create an actor and then case message plus I send back the syntax plus y, case message multiplication, send back it says multiply y. In other case, um, so I create two actors called message system one, message system two actor one and actor two, and then we find the time out for five seconds. And then actor one, I test at four and five. Actor two, I test maybe multiply 14 and 15. And then I wait the results of actor one and print it and where the results of factor two and print it. So here, not the explanation question mark, that is called us. So I run the project.
Similarly, this project also has uses SPT configuration file. Same kind of configuration file I'm using there. Take a little time. Some file using SPT. Now running. So you see, it, it was 9 and 210. So if I want to define another operation, maybe subtraction, I can add another case here. Uh, and there's my operation is subtraction. And I send the tail back x minus one like that. But my actor knows about all three operations. So then I can ask the first actor to add and the second actor to subscribe. And I run the program back. So you see, three cases and then another case. So it automatically do this back matching and returns back to me this value. Sender means the person who tells something. So I tells the sender the answer. Sender is waiting, the wait method, waiting for the answer. So that's how actor ask method was. So here it asks and wait for the answer. So you see it returns me the answer. So that's how actor ask method works. So if you want to define that, you have to define a timer and then ask instead of table. Right. I will show you some more examples. So I show you my hashing example. Right. This is my main method. Create actor system called hash system. And then create actor of hash system. And then create actor of MD5. And SHG1. Hash actor. Two hash actor. And then print hash. All right. So then this is how my hash like look like. You see now in the top you see since I have already created the actor. They use here actor selection methods to pick the act I created. So to give the relative path to that act. User and all actors created by the user inside the user. Then I say md5 user sh1. So it returns the values, reference values. So then uh, this one will read the message and pass that to the md5, pass the same to the sh1. Hashing actor. So this is the case class and message form. So which I should include is my actor and the Java security message types method to calculate the values. So this is my hashing actor. It, it get a reference to the printing actor. And when the message receives, as message has two parts, algorithm and the message. It gets instance of the algorithm and calculate the message types. And using this map method, I map it to the hexadecimal and pass that message to the printing actor. In my printing actor, waiting for the messages when message receives in this format. Print sends algorithm name and hash. 
this is the path where this message comes from algorithm and the hash values in the right uh, let me now run that program serious speaker it's compiled in hashing system sorry i'm at the wrong there's hash I run SPT run here. Okay. It asked me to type a message. I type it. It returns. MD5 hash and SHJ1 hash. The message. Let's type in the message. This returns me both hashes. These two values. So, in case I want to add another app, and perhaps I can create a Actor here. We, we see whether it has a SFG two five six like that, and then in this here, I see an actor like that. Six after, and after read the message, I six after I test the message. So then SFJ two five six after we calculate the hash and this one and pass that message to the printing actor. Then printing actor will print that. See whether it works. So, okay, so I have to check the SH two five six. It is uh, I have to tell you the message. Oh, this them is available. Let's see. So it create that hash here. Let's get this. Crash because this is such a two five six algorithm is not available in Java message that is close. It only has MD5 and SSJ1. Ah, 
uh, algorithms, hashing algorithms. Maybe it's SSG dash two five six. It's an algorithm name. SSG dash two. Say SSG two five six, but when you pass that. Say SSJ256, right? You draw. This is the name of this actor. So when you then read the message here, hashing message, and then the system I have to tell you this SSJ256 is the name. So I say pass the SSJ256 actor. This message is J two places text. Now see whether it works. Yes, hash of MD5, SJ1, SJ2 functions. Say parallelly, these three actors calculate hash of three different algorithms and then pass to the printing actor to print it. Right, all right. Now, let me show you another one. That is my uh, sense example. Right. And in this sense example, I have a sense message, uh, uh, sensor scala file in the main method. I create an actor system called sensor system and create uh, two different actors, average actor and printing actor. I'm not assigning those to the values because I don't need it. I just name them as A, B, G and printing. After that, I create a list of sensors. They are the name of the sensors. Maybe, let's say, two sensors, sensor one and sensor two. And instead of using two lines, I use map method. So in this list, I say sensors.map. What I going to map, what I going to execute this function on each element of this list. So if you do so, it create an actor of sensor one and then take sensor two and create a reference to the actor of sensor two. It ended up with actors with two elements, actor reference, list of actor reference, which has two elements. So each element then I tell, so this underscore take each element in this actor reference list and pass a random one to that. So this sense actor something look like when it receives a message it wait this random interval of time it define in this x and then read the sensor values so it's, i simulate the sensor values as random i simulate the reading anyway so i pass that value to the average actor so average actor i you can Context actor selection methods. I pick the reference, the reference to the average actor. 
So my average has to look like that. It receives the message. When it receives the message, it's print where it receives, and then continuously add and calculate. So that's how it works. And then result will pass this to a printing actor selected by this vector selection. So printing actor will print in the average values. So, so I'm, I'm under this directory where I have the sensor class and the same build configuration file. Run, run, this page, run method. Compile this and run. So when I run that, it actually created two actors, sensor actors, and it passed random values to those actors using this line. And then the sensor actors wait, sleep in the thread for that line. And get the values. After that, it pass to the average. Right? So in the average, what it can do, it calculate the average values. After that, it trigger the sensor back to the random to read the sensor values after this time. So because of that, it continuously you see getting sensor values from the sensor and calculating the average. So you see it's received from sensor two, value 32, then received from sensor three, received from sensor two, like that. Three from sensor two. So actually, here I have two sensors defined. So maybe I have to save, save it. So those all values should receive from them two sensors. So you see from sensor to sensor and then it reached it from sensor one back with three forty three and average it now. So you see in six to receive or HGH change. Like that is continuously monitoring the sensor. In case I want to add more sensors, I can add it here. Maybe instead of sensor one and two, I can add now sensor three, sensor two, sensor five and six six senses. So then six actors running on those six senses to read the values. If I want to add six senses, this is the only place I want to change. Everything will work transparent. So you see transparent. So now six actors we created to read the sensor values from six sensors and then one average actor and one printing actor will read. So the six actors will parallelly listen to the sensors, read sensor values. When you get the values, it pass into the average actor to average it and then it further pass into the printing actor to print. It's running. So you see, now it's this receives from sensor six. This is received from sensor two, two, five, two, six, three, like that. Sensor from sensor two. So each sensor will wait. This is from sensor one. Wait for random interval 
and together and it passes to the average average at uh, continuously average the room temperature. So you see how this simple actor system works, which has here in this four sense actors, one averaging actor and one printing actor all together, six actors created under the sensor actor systems. So that's how simply actor system works. So as you may understood, using actors we can create compound and application in very less areas. They are straightforward, simple, and so on. So you see <laughs> actor systems plus it actually uses functional programming styles like map and things like that, map functions together with those actor concepts and so on. Okay, I think that's it. All right, that's it. <laughs> so you, I hope you understand how actors works. So you can implement those methods yourself and try it yourself and try to familiar with the concept of actors together with the functional problem.